Hello, it's Joanne here and today I'm going to show you how to make a pendant from a chipboard button, a piece of bamboo skewer and a jewellery chain. Um, we're going to use an embossing folder to give it a nice textured surface and then cope with some perfect pearls to give it a metallic or pearlized finish. I've used three perfect pearls on this one. I used copper, bronze and gold which means that when you move the pendant in the light you get a little bit of difference in colour showing up. I hope you can see that there. So today I'm going to demonstrate with a chipboard button, a square one. This is a large button from the Tando Creative Grab Bag of Buttons. Makes quite a nice jewellery size. And I've coloured mine black just with a Copic marker. You want to use something permanent so that the colour doesn't rub off onto your skin when you're wearing the pendant. Um, you want to colour the edges as well as both sides and then leave that to dry thoroughly to make sure the colour doesn't come off onto the folder because the next thing we're going to do is emboss. You want an embossing folder with quite a small design. Um, I'm going to use the Spellbinders Embossabilities So Trendy folder and I'm going to use the hexagon side rather than using the zigzag side. You probably want to line up the centre of the button in between two hexagons to make sure that the pattern comes out symmetrically on each side of the button. Close your folder down and then bring in your die cutting machine and use whatever sandwich is appropriate for your machine and what you're trying to do. There we go. And you should find you have a nicely textured chipboard button. So then I'm going to bring my non stick sheet in because it might get a bit messy. Decide which side of the embossing you'd like to use for your pendant. I'm going to use this side. And then you want a Versamark pad and gently dab over the embossing. If you're gentle, you should just hit the high spots and not go down into the embossed area. I'm going to use three colours of Perfect Pearls. These are all from the Patina kit. This is Patina Green. I find it's good to give it a pop a little tap to make sure the powder is well settled. And a handy tip is to make sure you can't read the writing when you open a perfect pearls pot and then you know you're the right way up. And take the smaller brush from the kit and gently brush some powders onto the first and mark. These are nice, subtle, vintage kind of colours. You could use whatever colours you like or have on hand with your powders. A bit of pewter in the bottom. I'm going to gently blow off some of the excess powder and take the larger brush from the kit and give a good rub over the piece and make sure that the powders are well into the Versamark ink and also takes some of the powder out the low spots where hopefully it hasn't stuck too much. If you decide you'd like a bit more colour just gently dab again with Versamark again take the smaller brush Add more wherever you feel you want it. There we go. Gentle blow off and again just a rub with the larger brush. I'm going to take my powders out of the way because the next thing we're going to do 
To make these powders permanent, because Perfect Pearls has a resin already in there, all you need is some plain water inside a mini mister and just give a light spritz over the piece and that will fix the powders. So leave that to dry. Then to fix the chain in the centre, you need you need an ordinary bamboo skewer. This is just the sort that you would use on a barbecue. And you need to cut a piece that's just longer than the two holes in the button. So that's about there. I'm using my Tim Holtz tonic scissors to do this. They're strong enough to go through one of these skewers with no problem. If you get any little bits that decide they want to come off the skewer, that's fine, just pull them off. And you may find you have little snags on the end. If so, just use a piece of fine sandpaper and take those off to make sure you're not going to snag against your skin or clothing. I'm going to colour my piece to make it blend in a little bit better with the pendant. I'm going to hold it with some tweezers and just use the Copic marker to colour that black. Tweezers just mean that I'm not getting my fingers too inky since that's a permanent marker. hold with my fingers to go over the bit where I had the tweezers and there we go, it doesn't need to be perfect the alcohol ink will stay a little bit tacky so if you want to add any colour with the perfect pearls you can just do that straight on top Copic marker colouring. And again, take your mini mister with the water and give a light spritz. Set those to one side to dry, and those are the pieces that are going to make up your pendant. I'll show you with the one I've already done. When you come to add your chain, you need to come up from the back of the pendant, twice round the bamboo skewer and down, then come up through the second hole, twice through the skewer, back down. You might find you need to do a little bit of juggling to make sure that you've got equal length of chain on each end. You make nice, inexpensive gifts uh, if you wanted to give one away, or perhaps you could make several for yourself in different colours to go with different outfits. Quite easy, hope you'll have a go at that. Uh, thanks for watching today, and I'll see you again next time.